Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Seth Gozu here. Today I am working on a cartoon character line drawing in my studio. I'm going to show you how I made them on uh, this. I painted them on this uh, porcelain hand built mug, and I'll be using a uh, uh, designer liner from Mako. And I am using this uh, book that I found in a secondhand store as my reference. So follow up and I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe, comment, and share. I am using a lead pencil for a sketching and I did prepare my table, my underglazes mixing plate, water, and um, the book that I need as a reference. The main thing to remember for this kind of project is the designer liner, they do have, uh, they, do, they do bleed if it's uh, not dried enough before you dunk them in clear. So make sure you give it time to dry up the designer liner and then dunk them on a clear glaze of your choice. Another tip is underglaze. They do, uh, they are transparent if you don't uh, apply three or four layers of uh, coats. If that's the effect you want, that's okay. But with this cartoon type drawing, I will be applying three to four layers of the underglaze to get that solid uh, color effect. Just a quick tip when you're painting under glazes and uh, using designer liner, make sure you avoid touching the fresh paint. Uh, it's easy to get distracted. I do prop them on something elevated. You can see me using uh, foam to elevate my uh, my mug, and I do have I have to lay it down a bit so I can see my my drawings. So. Uh, avoid touching when it's still wet if you have to depending on your comfort zone if you have to paint from left to right make sure the other parts are dry before you start uh, uh, touching and uh, be careful to not to smear the actual paint if you do smear with under glaze you can scrape them a bit uh, using a um, sharp uh, a knife or needle tool will be fine and uh, you can repaint on them.
So now I'm going to start uh, using the designer liner. Uh, make sure you shake them well. Um, this lasts a long time. I have this designer liner for almost uh, a year. I cover the tip with the pin and uh, maintain it uh, sealed in that Ziploc, uh, airtight. And so far, it's always uh, workable. Uh, it doesn't uh, clog up. It's really a very, very reliable paint. I really enjoy using Mako Designer Liner. It's perfect for this type of line drawing.
here it is i'm going to let it dry a bit and uh, usually i wait at least a few minutes um, successful is overnight so i'm going to glaze them with clear glaze here's a designer liner a make a designer liner they do come in different colors uh, this is black i uh, bought two which you really don't need two it comes a long way uh, it lasts for a long time you just have to maintain the tip fresh enough um, don't lose the pin um, i usually put it on this sponge so i will never lo lose that pin to maintain the the freshness of the applicator they come in this bottle you have to cut the tip of the nose and uh, keep it sealed in this tiny ziploc bag so again thanks for watching if you have any question please write the comment below